After climbing by almost 3% this past week, the S&P has been on fire, shattering new records and hitting new highs, up now overall in the year by close to 19%. That leaves a lot of investors out there questioning whether they missed out or whether it's an opportune time to jump in. But even with the stock market at some all-time highs, yours truly has discovered six dividend gems that are now on sale and I'm gonna break down just after our need to know macros. With that, are you ready? So now what in the world is going on? Because just about two to three weeks ago, we were all quite nervous about what our future held in store for us and whether we would actually ever see the shades of green again when it comes to stock market returns. Now, I was certainly here sharing the same old, same old market mandates with you all of high inflation and interest rates that should just remain the focal point for all of us because when we get new news regarding either of the two, the market certainly reacts and we'll get some opportunities. And this past week, we had crucial statements made from the Federal Reserve Chairman Powell himself while testifying in front of the Senate banking panel that holding interest rates as high as they are for far too long could in fact jeopardize economic growth. Which now, if we're reading between the lines, really just means that the Federal Reserve Chairman himself knows that they can't keep these rates exactly where they are forever, and they're likely in the near future going to have to begin that process of slashing rates. So that news, aside from tech just continuing to boom, has really enabled us to soar to some new heights as investors are anticipating a new economic environment, whereas businesses will no longer really be pinched should they splurge and spend. And ultimately, for you, me, and every investor out there, this means that that these fresh new highs may just be the very beginning of yet another bull run period. However, the question now for all of us becomes, do we buy the opportunities that are out there at their peaks with some of these tech stocks or perhaps go for the discounted stocks that are out there right now? If you're asking me, I think the latter. Meaning, as long as these companies that are trading on sale are high quality when it comes to their leadership teams, brand names, a clean balance sheet, meaning little to no debt, choose those discounted opportunities. Six of which I wanna go ahead and cover for you right now. So in no particular order, let's go ahead and kick off with a healthcare sector play, Medtronic, ticker symbol MDT, which develops and manufactures medical technology. I'm talking about anything from blood analyzers to pacemakers and diabetes instruments. So in other words, a company that just remains an absolute necessity for all of us. However, in our current economic environment, their adjusted operating margin of 26.9% was way below expectations, signaling ongoing supply chain pressures and overall industry industry-wide lackluster sales from spending pullbacks by hospitals and medical facilities. But on a very positive note, Medtronic's portfolio updates were very favorable as the company anticipates future 2025 sales growth for cardiovascular, medical surgical, and neuroscience will all track corporate-wide growth while diabetes sales should just continue to grow above the corporate average, which means right now we have the opportunity once again to catch Medtronic for $77 per share. That that's down from $85 per share back in May as we are hovering in the red this year to date. But zoom out with me to see a reliable player with 54% worth of share price appreciation over the last decade, making for quite a steady dividend investment. As for analysts right now, they're forecasting a share price coming back up to $96 per share. That's about 24% worth of upside from here, all while we have very promising signs from insiders like the hedge funds, scoring over 2.9 million shares worth of Medtronic last quarter as the stock fell, and even the Medtronic team buying their own shares back, roughly $1.6 billion worth back in April. Now, clicking back to their stock chart, you could see they purchased those shares back when the stock was trading at a low, like right now. However, investors invest into Medtronic because of this dividend. It's coming in with a yield at 3.63%. That just continues to grow at an average growth rate of 12% year over year without interruption now for the last 46 years. Next up, let's discuss Hormel Foods, ticker symbol HRL, which produces a market various meat and food products for retailers, food services, delis, and all sorts of commercial customers, which I can assure you right now, if you look in your pantry, you're just very likely to see that you have multiple products of theirs in there, to which I say, if you're already buying and snacking on their products, you should just go right on ahead and add their stock to your cart as well, especially with their share price down now by almost 4% on the year, sliding from $36 per share in May down to $30 presently. All thanks to consumers shifting their spending habits as 
as noted by Hormel's retail volumes coming in at least way below their expectations. But think long term with Hormel as we see over 54% worth of share price appreciation over the last decade. Not to mention right now analysts are in fact coming in with upside that's predicted to hit a share price of $32 per share. But now most notably here is a recent insider purchase made at the end of June for $25,000 by a senior vice president as well as a lot of smart money moves that have been made with 40,000 shares purchased last quarter. As you could see as the stock share price was falling smart money was in fact loading up. However Hormel is going to be a solid dividend player for you as well coming in with a 3.72% dividend yield that's been growing on average by 12% year over year and maintaining quite a history for the last 58 years. Or if you're really looking to get your hands on a company that spans across verticals for product and segment diversification, you should be looking right now into Genuine Parts Company, that's ticker symbol GPC, which manufactures automobile and industrial replacement parts, as well as in a wide array of electrical materials, all of which play a key silent role in our everyday lives, making Genuine Parts Company an exemplary, boring, yet very lucrative investment. Now, as you can guess, by now, sales are down, as businesses and consumers have certainly been scaling back, meaning we get GPC in the red right now, trading for just $132 per share, a PE at 14.6. But zoom out with me, see over 102% worth of share price appreciation over the last decade, along with analysts right now who remain optimistic and expecting 27% worth of upside, hitting $168.80 per share. As for the dividend, which is what keeps Genuine Parts Company genuinely on my watch list, we have a yield coming in at 3.02% that has been steadily growing by about 6% year over year now for the last 20 years while maintaining a rich 67-year dividend track record. Now, investors, the next three dividend stocks all deal in a very specific sector that has been absolutely destroyed by higher interest rates. So you better believe that these are opportunities right now to buy low and really just hold on to for long-term profitability. But before I cover them, I want to go ahead and key you in some of my YouTube analytics. Whereas right now, I'm seeing 70% of you out there are watching. Well, that's just it. You're watching, but not actually subscribed. Therefore, I'm asking you now directly, flat out to join me by subscribing as it certainly helps me reach my goal to cut that number down from 70% to 50%. Now, the more I asked in the last few weeks, the more you guys delivered, and that fired me up to really just continue on making content that you guys need, like need to know macros, stock ideas, or best yet here, all the new masters of the market guests. Help this community continue to grow and it gets better for all of you. And while you're at it, tap on that thumbs up button to let me know that videos like these are in fact delivering value. So I'll just keep on making videos like this. With that said, let's dive right into the home improvement do it yourself, Mr. Fix It Space, and talk about Stanley Black and Decker, ticker symbol SWK, which is in the business of manufacturing tools used in construction or for all of your home improvement projects. Now, I bought Stanley Black and Decker way back when at its current share prices and sold out for a profit, but here I am again talking about this stock as it's trading for $83 per share, which is way down from the nearly $100 per share back in March. Now, Stanley Black, as I've shared before, will be back simply because of their footing in the industry. Industry. Yet with the overall just slowdown in construction and consumers tabling all their DIY projects, sales have certainly been in a slump. But if we go back 10 years, we can see that Stanley Black overall has been in the green, appreciating now by about 21%. However, I want you to think about the future when interest rates are cut, spending is now limitless again for construction and consumers, and they're back at it with their home improvement projects. Well, sales are bound to rebound. Analysts are forecasting here $88.40 per share. It's almost 7% worth of upside from the current share price, which is why we see the no-brainer action by hedge funds buying more shares, roughly 128,000 shares last quarter. But personally, I love this dividend investment for its yield coming in at 3.9%. That has been delivering through on that dividend for over 147 years now, with growth year over year, 6%, specifically within the last 20 years. However, some investors may look into Stanley Black & Deckard and be wary, but it's the exact same opportunity we can find with Illinois Toolworks, ticker symbol ITW which is in a more niche position as they manufacture welding tools and materials. But again, when construction is down at some all-time lows, well, so too is Illinois Toolworks coming in at $235 per share, which is down from $266 per share back in March. Yet zoom out with me to see a real power player in the industry with appreciation of nearly 245% over the last decade. And if we check in with the analyst, upside is expected there too, over 7% worth of upside coming up to $252.67 per share. And we can also see a ton of money 
moves made by Smart Money back in June. Now we also get a quality dividend here with a 2.37% dividend yield with Illinois Toolworks, which is actually growing and rapidly there by 13% on average year over year while maintaining a 52 year track record. But now if Stanley Black and Deckard, Illinois Toolworks are just a bit too daring for you, scare you away, or just don't quite fit your portfolio, there's one opportunity with a home improvement retailer that as a dividend investor, nobody should be passing up. It's Home Depot ticker symbol HD, which is the world's leading home improvement retailer selling, of course, all the Stanley Black and Decker tools and ITW products all under one roof. Now, it is in fact the biggest threat to all the small scale home improvement retailers that are out there. But nonetheless, you could probably call it by now that sales have been down and they have remained down for quite some time, meaning my desire, interest and conviction for Home Depot goes up. So on the year we're seeing right now, it's up only nominally trading for $344 per share with a lower PE for Home Depot at 22.6. But the magic happens over time. Zoom out with me to see over 443% worth of share price appreciation, along with analysts calling for almost 15% worth of upside hitting $394.71 per share. Now, until then, we're all going to get to enjoy the 2.61% dividend yield that's been growing very nicely at 19% year over year, as it's been doing so for the last 20 years while maintaining a 36 year rich dividend history. Now, there you have them, investors, all six dividend stock ideas. Comment down below which ones you own, which ones you're gearing up to actually buy this week, or if you just have better dividend stock ideas in mind. Be sure you're subscribed to the channel to join this journey, and I'm just going to make this easy for you right now. You could tap right here for more insights now.